Good morning, everyone. I uh, hope everyone's doing great. My name is Sam Harris. I just graduated Upper Dublin High School, and my first 18 years of my life, um, UDLC has made an amazing impact on it. As our family moved from our former church to here, uh, you, the congregation, have welcomed us with open arms and fully embraced us as we are and we're thankful for that. The friends that I've made, either adult or youth, have been amazing, and the amazing things that we've done together have all been God moments to me. For example, for me personally, the sunrise hike uh, that we did a couple years ago on our annual youth group camping trip on Memorial Day, we had the opportunity to go see what seemed to be a once in a lifetime opportunity. Um, we woke up at four o'clock um, a.m hiked in complete darkness for several hours for one special moment. Being able to capture this moment, spend time with friends, and being able to appreciate what it was, was the final piece for me personally to pursue uh, environmental science. This time lapse of the sunrise may only look like a few seconds on camera, but being out there in the moment, right there, right then, feels like an eternity. Just the sunrise, really just God, the breeze, and friends. Your breath just stops for a couple seconds and your jaw drops. That one moment may be captured by my phone as pictures, but in our hearts, it'll last us forever. And I'm thankful because somewhere in the world, the sun is rising and that one view can be seen everywhere by everyone. God's creation can be found anywhere at home by simply looking out your window, looking out in your yard, in your garden, in the sky, or when you take your dog out for a walk around the neighborhood. But having a place where you can disconnect and just take a break from the daily grind is important to your mental health, especially with the stuff that's going on today. Romans 1.20 For ever since the world was created, people have seen the earth and sky. Through everything God made, they can clearly see his invisible qualities, his eternal power and divine nature, so they have no excuse for not knowing God. If you're not sure where to look, consider this. The sun rises every day and the sun sets every day. And those two moments alone can really just be breathtaking and really make you appreciate nature for what it's worth. Sorry, my phone keeps falling. Uh, nature and being outside out in the wilderness has been an important coping mechanism for me to deal with the daily stress of school and all. I heard that maturity comes with age, but maturity doesn't really come to you, nor does it wait for you. I was forced to grow up and deal with things as an adult at a young age. Being outside has been a coping mechanism for myself, building upon relationships and friendships has also been an important coping mechanism for me and it has shaped me as the person I am today. For me, you guys, my closest friends, you all have been the foundation for my growth and I'm forever thankful for it. The Gonzalez sisters, the Namiras, Nate, Mike, Solomon, Emily, my best friend Lars, as well as the parents too. I mean, Tim Joyce, Dave Gonzalez, Pastor Keith, Ray Hopkins, Amanda Couch, Chris Couch, Ed Bremi. You all have been an amazing inspiration for me, and I wouldn't be here without you guys, so thank you. As I close, God works in amazing ways, and his creation is jaw-dropping. His work should be protected physically, in our minds, and in our hearts. God's work and love is shown in the people around us, in your homes, around you, in your neighborhoods, physically, mentally, or spiritually. And I'm thankful for every single one of you guys. Thank you for making my 18 years in Upper Dublin awesome and amazing. As I conclude, I challenge you guys this week to take time and make an effort to find somewhere where you can embrace God's creation and work. Take a step back from daily stress and just sit back, relax, and center yourself. This being said, take care. God bless. Love y'all.